I met so many Christians who will say to me, I don't speak to so and so. Oh, why? We did business together. I trusted him or I trusted her because we are all Christians. We are all Seventh-day Adventists. We, we started a company together. We got a deal together. And the next thing I know, they had fraudulently removed me from signing in the bank accounts and they signed the deal and they took my money. And, and I'm asking, so, okay, so what do you want? And, no, 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 Pastor, I'm angry. You know, they, they, they go through all sorts of things. Okay. In the end, are you aware that they have not left church since they stole your money? They are still sitting in the same pew with you, same building. And you say yes, then I say that means they don't care much. So here's my suggestion, heal and get over it. They are not even ashamed to walk into the same church with you every Sabbath. That is what happens in churches. Someone will cheat with your wife, get you divorced, marry your wife and remain in the same church. Girls, they come be away, they come down. Last week there was a wedding. We just want to welcome the newlyweds. Ucheli na wela pane ngane ziyakal. Zimangele wa yuba besechel na loya sisi. Wa yuba benga sheli la. Ah inkonzi ba introduce nje. Geskala ba tala geba zoba busi sot. Learn very early. Your pain does not move people as much as you think. It is you who owes yourself healing, not for us to recognize it for you. You need to go to Jesus with all your burdens. Get there, cry, kick, scream, get well, move on. But this thing that you think you will be fine after we recognize your pain, my brother, my sister, your journey is about to be very long.